to see you again. We receive cameras from a, a number of manufacturers, so we can do the tester. Yes, so the XM632 and the HM662. Great. So our uh, single sensor 360 camera and our brand new indoor outdoor fixed lens camera with wide dynamic range and image stabilization and video analytics and all that fun stuff. Great. Well, let's go test these. Absolutely. At Kentronics, we're very analytic about our recommendations, so we want to make sure that all the cameras we sell meet their specification as well as making sure that we recommend the right camera for an application. Yeah, so this is uh, making use of resources here that we have to try and get uh, a good resolution test as well. It kind of looks not straight on the manila oh, folder. Oh yeah, maybe we need to straighten it out a little bit. It's the... kind of barreling though, no? Yeah, you get the barrel effect as, it be, as you get close. So you what, you know, <clears throat> you, as long as all the cameras got the same look, I mean, you can't really solve that because of the lens. So you just need to move it in and or zoom in the camera. We compared the resolution of uh, four two megapixel cameras, the Samsung, Sony, Hikvision, and IPX dome cameras. To determine resolution, we viewed this test pattern. We then magnified the area that shows horizontal resolution and looked at where the converging lines could not be distinguished. This was the point for maximum resolution. The Sony camera was the winner of this test. Right, so this is, we'll set up the cameras and they will be looking to this display which has got different contrast and colors and background and that'll be our test for um, the dynamic range of the camera. In this test we looked at the camera with wide dynamic range off and wide dynamic range on. The Sony and Samsung cameras both did very well in this test. My impression of how to... This is very good because that blocks out the background and, um, you know, gives us a view. Perfect. We compared the Samsung, Sony, and Axis camera to uh, each other, and we did this by gradually lowering the light until we couldn't see anything. The Samsung performed the best, and it had the least amount of noise in the image.